Hello Aquarius, how are you doing today? Welcome to Born of the Rose Tarot and the inside of my car. Um, I do the videos on my lunch break from inside my car because they look at me weird in the office if I'm doing them in there. Just saying. I do these uh, readings um, as a gift to give back to the world for the gifts that I've received from Source, from all that is. And with that said, this is a reading um, for the energies of the new, of the, not new, of the Leo full moon that we uh, just had the apex of it on the 25th. I'm recording this on the 26th. We'll still be experiencing energies today and, you know, through tomorrow. Um, full moons be like that. Just saying. Technically, it's still full moon today. So, still going to call it next 48 hours Leo full moon. Uh, for Aquarius, I didn't hit the apex for you. I'm sorry. I don't get all the zodiacs done in a day because I do these on my lunch break. And uh, I was guided to do a different set of... Uh, God, Aquarius, I'm really sorry. I should have done it for you. But time. we got to work within it. Anyway, if you're still here, if you're still forgiving me, Aquarius, and you're willing to accept this reading, I'm, I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Spirit... Please guide me and guard me as I go within the tarot. Please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Aquarius collective um, as it pertains to the energies that they will be experiencing through this Leo full moon. For, please guide them for their highest and greatest unfoldment, the highest and greatest unfoldment of all involved. Please connect me with the energy of the Aquarius Collective. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get cracking. Spirit, what's the overall theme for this full moon in Leo energy for the Aquarius Collective? What, what are the themes that they will be working with? Six of Pentacles. Um either receiving from someone who has enough to share or having enough to share. This is also a balancing of your physical resources. And it's in a shared concept. So you're sharing of these resources with others. So if it's time and you're needing to share your time, it's finding that balance point of, okay, I can share this much time with Susie and then I can also share this much time with Johnny. Um, but I can't have Susie and Johnny playing in the same sandbox because they throw the cat turds at each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I shouldn't have used the sandbox analogy because I instantly go to, all the neighborhood cats use it as a litter box. Does anybody not realize that? <laughs> what? To a cat, it's just a big litter box, and why are the kids in there playing with the turds? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> sorry about that. Spirit, what more can we say about the themes, the overall themes? <laughs> Queen of Cups, this is about emotions that are stable <laughs> and following our emotions and our, and our um, I was going to say intuition, but I mean empathy, our empathic feelings, our emotional feelings, following the emotional body's guidance. <laughs> Why is this so funny for me? I need help. Okay, sorry. Uh, composure, Dean. And it's around a Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is having it all. Um, wanting it all. Uh, the house, the kids, the dog, the cat, the hubby. Um, Ten of Pentacles, it's literally, it's generational wealth. And whether it's with there's always another person involved um, because you've got your nine of pentacles, they have their nine of pentacles and you come together and now you're each sharing that a pentacle with each other, now each of ten. Um, pentacles are also time. It's not just physical matter, but these are the real things. That time you get with that person, that's a pentacle. So, And if someone's collaborating with you to build a life, that's that's several pentacles as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a beautiful thing. 
So, okay, so this is around the themes we're looking at for Aquarius is <sighs> sharing of resources um, with others around emotional awareness and a desire for the full Monty. And how are we best going to get that? So that's a pretty real thing, Aquarius. I got you. I feel you. What more can we say? Um, actually, Spirit, before we go to... What are the energies coming towards the Aquarius through this energy? What, are, what energies are coming towards our Aquarius collective? A Ten of Cups. Total emotional satisfaction. That's the uh, Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. That's... That's just, that's happy life, happy wife, happy hubs. You know, that's, we've got the house, we've got the kids, we've got, you know, all the physical stuff. And we have deep appreciation and deep love for each other. And it's shared, it's mutual. Again, it's the nine of cups, I'm showing up. I'm a fully satisfied person. You're a fully satisfied person. And now we're sharing a cup together. So we each have our time. That's fucking spectacular. Spirit, what else is coming towards the Aquarius? Possibly a Virgo. Um, this is the Hermit. This is someone who has turned inwards and done the healing work. They found the star from the universe. They found that healing energy. Or maybe you've, maybe you've done that and you're like, aha, I got the star now. Now I get it. Uh, Spirit, what else do we have coming towards our Aquarius collective through this full moon energy? Ace of Swords. Um, clarity of thought. New thought. Um, this could come in the form of communication from someone. But it's big picture thinking. It's new idea. It's new thought. Clarity of thought. Ace of Swords. Is there anything else coming towards the Aquarius Collective, Spirit? Five of Pentacles. A feeling of left out in the cold. This could be someone coming towards you who's feeling like they're being excluded or left out. Something. Spirit, what's the potential crossing energies for Aquarius? For this. A... Nine of Cups, this is... Hey, you know what? I'm actually good on my own. Um, Dirtbag. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want your rotten cup. I got nine cups. I'm good. What's that half full cup you got there? Keep that thing to yourself. I mean, you're feeling all left out in the cold and stuff. This could be a crossing energy to you. Is self-satisfaction. Like, you're... It's a feeling of, no, no, I'm, I'm good. I, and trust me, I am. I'm actually good. Like, I've... My life's fantastic. I got all that I want and need. Why do I need extra from another person? Um, that's nine. That can also be nine of cups, especially if it's in a crossing energy. Or you're trying to take a cup to someone, and they're just like, why do I want your cup? I've got nine. Further crossing energies are... I knew this sort I, I knew this one was coming up. I knew this was going to be... I did. It's, didn't even need to pop the card out. I already knew this was here. Fantastic. It's a need to make a decision. It also can be seen as the card of indecision. And when we don't choose, we have made a choice. So that is a crossing energy is telling me that someone is sitting on their thoughts and they're not making the decision they need to make. And a seven of wands, a feeling of competition. So you could have competition in a matter. Someone else is jockeying for the same that you want. And the Seven of Wands is a, sort, is a, a card of active competition. Competing over the same resource. Competing over the high ground. And that person may already have the high ground. So, Spirit, what advice do we have for the Aquarius Collective? What advice do we have for the Aquarius Collective? spirit for their highest and best 
their greatest unfoldment through this full moon in Leo energy. What does spirit have to say? Temperance. Seek balance of mind and heart. Temper yourself in the situation. Look for balance of head and heart. That's where true alchemy lies. That's where true manifestation happens. What more advice do you have? Anything? Ooh, that was quick. The world. Call in the world that you desire, that you want. Temperance is a card of true alchemy. So temperance to the world is saying you can manifest the world that you want. It's up to you. But find that resonance between your head and your heart. Don't just go with what the thinky thinks are telling you and don't just go with what the feely feels are saying. Find that balance between both. Find that happy place where they both go, yeah, that's what we wanted. And that's where it'll all come together for you, Aquarius. <sighs> okay. Feels good. I, I feel I have nothing more to add to this. Spirit, thank you so much for this reading. Aquarius, thank you for being here and thank you for allowing me to tap into your energy for this. Um, if you got something out of it, do that thumbs up thing. You know, give, give us something back. Um, whenever I finally sign up for Patreon, it'll be down in the comments spot. It hasn't happened yet. So I'm not really trying to monetize this, but I keep getting guided toward that direction so I can do this more often. Um, I don't know. Still debating on that one. Uh, yeah, and if you got something out of it, please drop me a comment down below. Let me know how it resonated for you. That stuff goes a long way with me. And uh, it's nice to have that dialogue between the other people that it resonated with. Maybe you have insight that will help someone else. And I'd like this to be a community where we can help each other heal in our path, in our process. That's all I have for you now, Aquarius. Thanks for stopping by. From my heart to yours, sending you love, sending you peace.